Hi, welcome back uh, on uh, this uh, Osteocom uh, Masterclass, the lecture number six. And it's a very important topic on uh, interproximal attachment gain. And in uh, our evolution of the techniques, we are now, now in, uh, in the years uh, 2009, okay, 2007, 2009, in 2007, Leonardo Trombelli published the single flap approach on uh, uh, Dental Cadmus, it's an Italian journal. And then after two years, he published the single flap approach on the journal Periodontology. And uh, simultaneously, on journal Clinical Periodontology, uh, Cortellini and Tonetti published the modified mist. So it's, uh, it's uh, similar, the technique, with a little bit different concept, but the uh, the baseline is that the, with this technique, we don't need any more to elevate the papilla. And this is the Laurel Gotlo. Please follow me with this uh, type of suture because it's very important. As you can see, this is the internal mattress suture part. And then you engage the loop and then you close. You see? This is the Laurel Gotlo. Of course, you need to stay at least three millimeter from the incision margin. Again, this is a video from my app that you can download. It's very cheap. And this is the closure of the knot. Again, usually you like to perform the Laura Gotlo in advance. You leave it loose, you add the biomaterial, and you close. Huh? And then when you want to close, you just cut. When you want to remove the suture, you cut here. Because if you cut here or here, but you cut the loop, let's say. So this part, this part, the V-shaped part of the uh, suture will be loose immediately. And these two wire to suture will come out from its own part. So take home message from this part uh, of the presentation is that the best choice in which there is a good aesthetic. Uh, this procedure, I mean the single flap approach or modified mist, uh, is, is, is the procedure that we use for intrabony defect 90% of the time. It's like everyday choice uh, routine technique. Of course, this is not enough when we need to improve the uh, height of the papilla or the, uh, we need to cover the recession simultaneously to the treatment of intrabony defect. And when the buccal bone wall is missing, as we have seen in the study with Leonardo Trombelli, or when there is a, a thin phenotype tissue, there is a risk of recession, not only buccal, but also interproximal. And we don't want to lose interproximal tissue during the healing. So in this case, we need to find new strategies. And we will talk about these new strategies in the next lecture. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. See you soon.